Life Advice with Larry Bryce. Welcome back all you ravenous listeners to Life Advice with Larry Bryce. Beginning on a somewhat sour note, our long-time caller, clumsy in Cleveland, fell down a manhole on his way to a blind date this week. I guess it's true what they say. Love knows no bounds. As always, today's show is brought to you by Bic. When's a pen-sized dick useful? Never. So, our first caller today is a man from Gettysburg who isn't quite sure where he belongs. Caller? Well, yeah, Larry, my name's Darren. I'm calling because I'm in something of a pickle. See, my girlfriend wants to move to New York City. Why is that a problem? New York is the only city where you can get a book and a blowjob on the same corner. Well, because I'd be moving away from my first love. Civil War reenactments. I, I'm sorry. There must be a problem with service. I thought you said Civil War reenactments. Well, I did. Ah. In that case, bloody good on you, mate, for finding a woman at all. Thanks? No, well, it's just that at first she found it cute, but now she thinks it's juvenile. Well, Darren, you do play dress up, sleep in a tent with a dozen grown men at a time, and try to poke each other with pointy guns. I think juvenile is much better than her assuming you are a homosexual. Don't know what to do. What if she makes me choose between the two? Darren, here's a little life advice. Go home, post haste after this call, and have sex with your woman. After that sex, go put on your costume. Whichever one feels better. The costume or her vagina? There's your answer. Thanks for calling, Darren. Our next caller here sounds like something of an eccentric. Caller? You're on the air with Larry Bryce. Well, hello, Larry. I was just wondering what your stance is on cheating. Caller, that is a very good question. And with a bottle of bourbon and a G-string, you get your answer. <laughs> well, that makes sense, considering I'm single now because of you. Ah, Kevin, you sanctimonious piece of shit. Your wife's legs opened the minute she stopped being a chubby chaser when the money ran out. Only after I make your wife beg for my English ham. Poor Kevin. He has to learn to take responsibility. Especially when it comes to his wife sleeping with other men. Now we're in for a treat. This last caller comes to us all the way from Dakota. Hi, Mr. Price. I'm having a problem keeping my girlfriend in line. Dakota, I can relate to this. Just last week, I was having trouble keeping my pork fish sandwich in line. See, my tastes are quite singular. There are certain acts that are necessary for me to enjoy myself. Without them, I see no point. Has your woman voice concerned that you are a creepy, creepy man? She has, to which I proceeded to punish her. The situation was rectified. Ah. In that case, there is just one thing I can really say to a man like you. Make sure she signs something so she can't sue your ass. Back in 98, I had to learn the hard way. Believe me, Mr. Bryce, the contracts will be signed. Glad to hear it deranged in Dakota. I hope they never make a movie about you. We are all out of time today. We again thank Radio Shack for sponsoring the show. At least they're keeping one of our businesses alive. This is Larry Bryce leaving you with just a bit more life advice. Don't ever double bag your condom. You never know if there's going to be a prettier girl.